Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this on Facebook and asked why they can't get it to text a path. And somebody's already answered the questions because the heart probably not a text. A heart can be text. And I'm going to do a video on that too. But if your text you pick doesn't have a heart symbol, you can do this. I'm going to, and I'm going to take the easiest route and go uh, use a, a circle. And because I don't know what her path is, I actually just messaged her, but I had some time to make a video and I thought I'd go ahead and do it. So go to text, text a path. And all I did was write it out and put a space between the words double. I double click the space bar to give a look. And you can make, you can change that once you see this by sliding this and make your words further apart, not the letters, but the words themselves will be further apart if you use this handle. Then it should be in the center. So let's go to our common shapes and grab that heart and try to kind of draw it up, up in here where you can uh, see about how big it is. And then tell you what, let me delete that. Hold down the control button and make a perfect heart. So I'm gonna call that good. And then you can make it whatever line thickness you want. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I am going to select everything and hit T like in Tom to put it to the top of the page. Now I'm going to bring in some indexing lines and hit P just so I know where the center of the circle is. And this is relatively easy. Well, it's re actually real easy. Let's go get our pick tool where well, we actually need to see the center. And I'm going to hit, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to double click on it, get a rotation then move our rotation in the center. It doesn't look like it is. And it's not. So sometimes you have to back off and get it closer. Whoop. If you ever see anything jump like that, just go back. So now we're in the center. So I'm not going to do anything, you know, uh, duplicate or anything. I'm just going to take that guy and rotate it. Well, that didn't work. I'm going to grab this handle right here and rotate it. Get it pretty even. Then I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page, or make a duplicate. I just hit the plus key on the keyboard. And that way, if you use the duplicate key, then it's going to move to the next spot. And it's, in this case, isn't going to be equal. And of course, you'd want to tweak that and look close at it. And you can change it very easily. If we look, you can change it by hand or you can actually change the rotation up here. We need to make it a little bit, let's go, uh, let's just take away these outer numbers. That's a little bit too much. So let's go 351, two. So you can do it manually, or you can just move it mathematically or manually till you get them close. And I'm gonna try to do a video on how you could actually use that as a text. Anyway, I'm hoping they were wanting it on a curve. And then of course these are, I draw in red hairline, so you would need to draw them and either fill them in and, and take away the outline so they would just engrave or whatever. And that might even be easier to look at when you're doing that. Now by doing that, the center still should be in the center and you can minutely move it around. We might need a little bit more spacing between the letters. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.